In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create seven options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've added this particular rectangle or you can call it as a pipe or a rod. And when I click, the first option comes from the right. You can see here, you can add the title, the option number, the icon with a different color combination and at the top, you can add the detailed text. So when I click, here it comes the second option, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seven so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any dark gray color background. Go to insert shapes. Uh, from the rectangles, I'm going to choose this rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Maybe this much size. Shape outline. Make it no outline shape. Fill you can give any dark color here. And better to put it in the center. Then I'm going to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this by holding the shift key so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size the shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white then go to insert shapes uh, from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the circle hollow draw the circle hollow again by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white let me just zoom in and then i'm just going to put it exactly in the center this and this should be in the center it should be aligned all right again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the width of this one now what i'm going to do is one part i'm going to cut it so it looks like it is inserted into into this particular uh, rod for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle exactly this much size okay then i'm going to select this particular shape the oval shape hold the shift key select the blue rectangle merge shape i'm going to click on subtract so you can see here it ends up getting like this okay so it feels that this is already inserted in this particular uh, the rod so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle okay and put it exactly in the center again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white all right again if you want you can just increase it the size a little bit more all right let me just increase it yeah so you can see here i have end up getting a shape something like this now all these three shapes i'm going to select okay shape format merge shape and uh, click it on union so it becomes one shape now all right so now depending on my requirement how many shapes i want and before that one again if you want to insert some shape in the center you can insert also that can be done later as well so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hold the control shift key i'm just going to add one more here one more here and one more here so total four i'm adding and then i'm selecting all these four shape by holding the shift key align and distribute horizontally so that equal spaces will be given now the same thing i'm going to uh, to add at the bottom so select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate and rotate it i'm going to make it flip vertical and put it like this you can see all right and then here hold the ctrl shift key add it again in the middle here and this one again in the middle all right again do the proper alignment so you can see here we have completed this uh, particular shape now depending on your requirement how much uh, what the color and what some different image or uh, shape you can insert within this oval shape so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape by holding the shift key all right make sure it is somewhat smaller than the first one all right and then i'm going to cut this into half okay go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle okay and then i'm going to select this shape hold the shape, uh, shift key and select this one 
merge shape and subtract so we end up getting a, a semicircle here so shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice so hold the control shift key add it to the rest of the options and we can align it later on so if it is not aligned properly you need to align it manually like this okay the same thing i'm going to copy at the bottom control d to duplicate and rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and put it here control shift key just add it at the bottom so we end up getting a design like this now it's up to me or up to you which color you like to choose it here okay so different color combination you can add it here so one by one you need to just select the object and fill with different color combinations depending on your requirement so i'm just going to give maybe a light green here and then i can give uh, maybe a pink or a black or whatever a teal color all right so this particular design is okay ready now now it's time to add some icons and some uh, title text here okay if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert and you can click on the icons and you can just uh, add uh, the icons depending again your on your requirement so i'm randomly i'm just selecting seven different icons okay this is five let me just select maybe this is six and this is seven and click insert and then move this aside and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 and the graphic fill i'm going to fill this with white now depending on your requirement start putting one by one uh, uh, under each option here you can see let me just put this the bulb here this process kind of thing make sure to align it properly all right and then comes this one here okay and then go to insert text box i'm going to type 01 okay and center align make it bold increase the size all right and then hold the control shift key i'm just adding it here and later on we will rename the numbers here and i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to add it for these options and then one by one just hold the control shift key and uh, just place it there so this is one this is two this is three four five six and seven so this is six and this is seven all right now again now the adding the text uh, you can add it at the top and if you feel that this is not aligned properly you need to align the you have to select all the objects and then uh, bring it down with the help of the mouse key then go to insert text box you can add detail text here all right center align reduce the size if you want you can make it white and then i'm just going to add the detailed text Control shift key just drag it and drop it you have to hold the Control shift key together okay and then i'm just going to duplicate this bring it down and then move it here okay and if you want you can add some title in the center here so once this is done what we need to do is we need to group it before we doing the animation so now let me just select these options you can see here press ctrl g so it becomes one group so now i'm going to do the same thing for the bottom one ctrl g again i'm going to do this for the third option ctrl g to group it one by one you need to group it all right otherwise there will be a problem in the animation so now let me just do this part and then this one and again if you want to add some shadow effect you can add the shadow effect also for example let me just show you Control c i'm going to paste this one and i'm going to make this color as black right mouse click go to format shape under fill increase the transparency bring it here 
tilt a little bit all right and send this to back so like this you can add the shadow effect for the rest of the option so even for this also i'm going to group this one okay i'm not going to copy the the shadow effect you can do it uh, when you are designing this particular slide all right now let me just go back to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this animation this particular objects all right and then add animation or you can just say fly in fly in make it from right so it comes like this and the, all this should happen on click right mouse click effects and increase the bounce and you can see like this and timings if you want very fast fast it's up to you and then click ok now if i play it will come like this first option second option third fourth fifth sixth and seventh